Um, welcome everyone. So today we're speaking with Monica Lazari, who is part of APA's current exhibition 4x4. Um, 4x4 is the second exhibition in this new Collingwood Yards gallery space. It presents four different solo exhibitions featuring Monica Lazari, who was on the screen now, Rebecca Shibilia, James McSporran and Semarine Chia. Um, while holding distinctive practices, their work collectively reflects the versatility of colour, imagination, narrative and pattern to speak on the energies of society and nuances of everyday life. If you're listening to uh, this video this week, um, which is the first week of June, the exhibition is only available online while Melbourne is in another lockdown. However, we get to experience it in another way talking with Monica today. Uh, so Monica Lazari is a Melbourne-based artist. She creates complex abstract paintings and collages, incorporating bold colour, fields, bright saturated colours, dot technique, abstract shapes and geometric patterns. Vibrant and multi-layered, she employs a vast colour palette with the meticulous application of media. The works are active spaces, resonating with energy. Um, the, her collection in 4x4 Artist Solos reflects, reflects Lazari's recognisable, colourful, flattened and densely rendered acrylic paintings. These familiar artworks sit alongside new works on paper, including buildings, distinctive for its de delicately applied pencil line work, negative space and perspective. Monica has been a regular studio artist at Arts Project since 2006, and she's been included in many group exhibitions, um, including um, one at the Arts Centre Melbourne um, and an exhibition curated by Glenn Barclay at Arts Project Australia. And her work is held in national and international private and corporate collections. Um, but this is Monica's first solo exhibition, which is really exciting. Today, we've got Monica to talk about three of her works in three minutes, which is a bit of fun. Um, are you ready to get started, Monica? Yes, I am. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Let's do it. So this first work I got by Monica is called um, Kaleidoscope from 2019. I'm going to pop the timer on now, Monica, and you're ready to go. Hi, everybody who's listening. Um, this is called the Scala Slope. Okay, the reason I have, have called it this is because as you look at it, well, as I look at it, it reminds me of the toy when you turn it around and how things get smaller and all the circles get tinier and then it gets tighter. Um, so it kind of looks like that to me as you turn in the thing, it goes in and in. in. Um, so um, that's why well, I've caught it that. Um, um, I, I like the colours that I have used. Um, I love it how like some of it has just this big yellow circle and then you got the blues and um, like the rectangle and then you got a tiny square in the middle. Yeah. yeah. All right, Monica. We're going to go into... It was some... actually a very long minute. Like I thought like I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to finish what I'm going to say, but I actually felt I wanted out of stuff to say. <laughs> You're just getting warmed up. Um, this is the next work, I believe. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, um, this one I did with acrylics. Um, it um, sort of reminds me of like um, hoops, like, you know, those hula hoops that you, um, that, that you can spin around on your belly. Um, I can't really do it, um, but like it's it's just like if like somebody just put them all a whole heap of them on the floor, uh, that's just what what they would look like to me. So that's how I thought I might do it. That's why I did it, and yeah, but I haven't named it hula hula hoops because um, I didn't want. Um, people to um, see those as hula hoops. I want them to see them the way they want to see them. Wow, that's so interesting. Um, and we've got the final work, which 
oh, you have to remind me which one it was. Um, it was um, that one. This one? Yeah, that oh. one this year. Yeah, stop. All right, cool. Ready when you are. There you go. Um, ready. Uh, now this one um, is actually my favourite one in the in the show, um, as in it's not um, normally what I do. Um, yeah, I um, like it just reminds me of like you know buildings like. It's a layer of a layer. Um, I love it how like some of the, the lines are crossing over and going under. Um, I just think it's just so fascinating and I just like um, can't stop looking at it. Uh, I just love the colours on it. Um, my uncle has actually bought it. So every time I go there, I'll get to see it again. So that's good. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Oh, thank you so much, Monica. That's all really interesting. And it's amazing how much just in a few minutes, so much can learn so much more about these really intricate works. Um, for anyone who's interested in seeing this show, as I said, it's currently online. If you go to our Arts Project Australia's Explore page and go down to virtual exhibitions, all these works are also on our online stockroom for purchase, um, which can be collected after lockdown um and of course pending the end of lockdown which we'll have our fingers crossed for um the show is on until sunday the 27th of june um where you can see all of monica's wonderful works then all right thanks so much monica um we can tie it up there